Hey folks, so you know how Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is cranking up his carbon tax on you on April 1st? It's going to cost you more to fill up your vehicle with gasoline or diesel. That includes truckers, by the way, that deliver everything we eat and use. So our price of pretty much everything is going to go up. It also costs you more to heat your home with stuff like natural gas or propane. But he just said something mind-boggling okay like straight up you know we have always been at war with east asia 1984 upside down talk okay listen to this everyone seems to be talking about the price we've brought in on pollution nobody is talking about the canada carbon rebate that puts more money in the pockets of eight out of ten families across the country than the price on pollution actually costs them so taking away the price on pollution or uh, leveling it off where it is would actually mean less money in the pockets of 8 out of 10 Canadians uh, in the jurisdictions where it's imposed. Did you hear what he just said? He just said that if he paused his carbon tax hike or scrapped his carbon tax altogether, that you, good taxpayer, would be poorer for it. What? I know, it's hard to even wrap your head around because what he's saying is so not true, okay? I can't believe I need to say this out loud, but tax hikes do not make taxpayers have more money. If the government increases your taxes, you will have less money. If the government cuts your taxes, you keep more of your money. Folks, he shouldn't have said this. Thank you, Alan Fryer, longtime CTV journalist, for flagging this and posting it online. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau should own his carbon tax. He should own it. He should say, yeah, I know, it's costing everybody more money. It's going to cost you more to heat your home and drive your car. But hey, I think this is important and I'm sticking to it. He should not gaslight you and tell you that you are richer for it and kind of implicate that you should probably be thankful for it. That is nonsense. And don't just take it from us at the Canadian Taxpayers Federation that this is pure nonsense. In fact, you may not even want to trust your own common sense that this is nonsense. The Parliamentary Budget Office, okay? It is an independent, arm's-length watchdog that keeps an eye on government spending. The Parliamentary Budget Office, for example, has done the calculation. The average Alberta family will be out more than $900 this year, net, with Prime Minister Trudeau's precious rebates factored in. I'm going to say that again real slow. The PBO, Parliamentary Budget Officer, has done the math. Average Alberta families will be out $900 and change, net, this year with rebates factored in. Folks, it's time for us all to push back at the same time. Okay? You need to stand up and be heard. Pick up the phone, send an email. If you have a member of parliament who is part of the Liberals or the NDP, because they're the ones pushing for this stuff, you phone them and email them right now. You tell them, scrap this carbon tax, scrap this carbon tax increase, and certainly do not tell me to be thankful for you for jacking them up.